Can you hear me? That's always the first thing anyone ever says on one of these videos, isn't it? Hopefully you can. Welcome, I'm Hannah and this is our first ever Friday night live show and tell. If you are joining us on YouTube or Facebook, if you can just type in the messages so I know that you're here, that would be great. Um, it usually takes a couple of minutes for people to kind of jump online and stuff. So I'm excited. I hope you are too. Oh, and I've just realized I've got face paint on and you might be thinking, why has she got face paint on? Okay, well, after this week's workshop, I thought it'd be appropriate to have the fire because symbolically we are all meeting around the metaphorical fire today, connecting. And this is my water hole. So I was inspired by Mandy, who is the queen of face paints in our group. And I think this is going to become a weekly thing. It's not compulsory, but if you would like to join in, we actively encourage people using face paints just because it's fun. OK, who's here? Can we see any new people? So we've got Naz is here. Pete and Nikki are here. Hello. We've got Mandy. Fantastic. Oh, I'm so excited. I can't wait to see all the stuff that you guys have made. I've had so many emails coming through and the pictures look awesome. Okay, so um, who else is here? Oliver, hello, welcome. <laughs> Brilliant. Fantastic. Okay, so anyway, we're going to be meeting every Friday for 11 weeks. Um, we started our first tutorial last week, so we learned all about Aboriginal art and we did some pebble painting. So I'm very excited to introduce a few guests today who are going to talk about the work that they've done. And hopefully there'll be some, oh, I can see more people jumping online. Hello, Katie. Thank you, I'm glad you like my face paint. Wait until you see some of the other guests face paint as well. Hi, hi Jaheda, I'm so glad you made it. And Louise, <coughs> oh, it's really exciting that you're all getting involved, it's brilliant. Thank you, I really appreciate you giving up your time to be here with us. And hopefully we're all gonna get to know each other a bit too. So we'll have a proper fun, creative community. And if you thought that you'd signed up for a serious art class that was going to be very relaxing, this is not that place, I'm afraid. This is a place of fun where we promote well-being, and we're all a little bit eccentric, but we're gonna have a great time. And we are really looking forward to meeting you and seeing your fantastic creations. So now that we've got a few more people online, I am going to ask Naz to come on the screen with me. Hi, Daisy, lovely to see you. <laughs> right, so Naz is joining us. Naz is the person who actually did the decoupage in the original tutorial, so you might recognize her. Yay. And she also <laughs> has some fantastic face paint. Can we have a bit of a close up, Naz? Ooh, I ought to get, let's do the snake. Hi, no, I'll do the snake first. No. <laughs> they look fantastic and then I the other one them. you see them <laughs> yes they are brilliant good effort absolutely great fun doing that <laughs> this has got to become a weekly thing I think it's not compulsory <laughs> but it's actively encouraged I don't know if you can even see my fire it's not a traditional one it's just a, a ah, makeshift can of one and, yeah. and this is my watering hole so <laughs> we're all getting involved that's great so Naz have you got um your stones with you or would you like me to show right. you the pictures yes so this is the one that I did I used oh I've got to get it in the right angle haven't I this is the one I used in my demo anyway so that's the gorgeous one Ooh, get it right on the screen okay but then I thought well I wonder if collaging works on stones as well so I did a bit of a rainbow. Ooh, I've got to get in the right angle. A bit of a oh, rainbow. Oh, I love that. So um, did you use magazines? Bits of magazine. Yeah. Fantastic. It, I don't know if you can see on it. It says, "Please turn me over." And then on the back, it says, "Oh, that's better." 
Oh, fantastic. I've got a picture. I'm going to see if I can get the picture up of that because it just shows it a bit more clearly because yes. I think it's fantastic. Can you go see the picture now? I just love that, the little... Loading, I think. Oh, there it so, is. So yeah. can we get the please turn me over one up as well, please? Magical people. <laughs> <laughs> I have some fairies here helping magic. me. <laughs> <laughs> so please turn me over. And then on the other side, I've done it in slightly the oh, different order. Oh, that's better. <laughs> Oops, the fairies someone. are a bit lagging at the moment. Oh, now that's what I, I also thought. Well, if you can collage, then you must be able to do words. Ah, that's, that's better. <laughs> that's better. Oh, these fairies, you just can't get the stuff. <laughs> no, I think Thank that you. is fantastic. And I was also saying that you um, you did some work with some Marmite jars, didn't you? Yes. Um, we yeah. had the... Was it love and hate on either yes, side? Yes, love and hate. <laughs> yeah, and I think that's just the, the idea of it. It's really cool and it sort of draws you in like, oh, I wonder what that is sort of thing. I wonder what other statements we could do with that. <laughs> that, that, is, that could be a whole other challenge, couldn't it? But oh, I yeah, possibilities that. are endless there. It's fantastic. Um, yeah, so I thought, well, you could, you surely must be able to put words on as well. So I thought, well, I'll do a, a negative and positive pebble so you've got different sides. Fantastic. I just did that with glue. Yeah. And with lockdown and everything, that is so that I don't know about you. I mean, people call it the corona coaster, don't they? That you have these yeah. these massive highs of like, you know, oh, I'm creating stuff, everything's brilliant, lovely sunshine. Mm -hmm. And then you have these big dips and you're just like, Oh my goodness, what is going on in the world? Yeah. And I think it's really helpful actually in art to express both sides of that, to really have yes, that so balance. You've got the positive you know? as well. Yeah, so we're not yeah, just pretending everything's fine, but we're acknowledging both. And I think that's that's quite cathartic, actually, isn't it? So mm, awesome it idea. I might try <laughs> that. That's fantastic. So, so I haven't um, got round to the dotty pebbles yet, but I have got round to the dotty cheeks. So that's my next job. <laughs> you're, you're, you're going above and beyond. You're doing brilliant now. <laughs> so thank you very much. That is excellent. And thank you're you welcome. for doing the tutorial as well, because... I think it's really important that we we all sort of share our skills and some people are better at other things you know so like honestly I can't really compete with Mandy's face paints to be honest but <laughs> I'm just I'm giving it a go I'm giving it a go <laughs> okay anything else that you wanted to share with us about um no I think love? that's all for now as I say I might do a dotty pebble at some point <laughs> fabulous actually whilst whilst you're here um, I found a naked um, herd elephant Ooh. just casually wandering around and Cheeky. you have been um, actively involved in the herd haven't you Naz? Could, have I you have got any, 12 any, in my herd now. Have you got any herd members nearby that we could have a little look at? Oh let's go and have Hunters. a look. Let's, let's go on an elephant there. hunt shall we? Yeah. Well they're all Sorry. lined up on the top of my, my unit. Do you want to see my latest? I I love the rainbow one I thought was fantastic the rainbow. Ooh, absolutely brilliant for those of you who have no idea what we are talking about right now <laughs> before this course started um we kind of had a bit of an interim period where we weren't meeting at key place to um to do our creative change workshops so we started this thing called the herd community um and we were using these little milk bottle elephants but they if I turn my, my camera around can you see them have I got the right oh angle? that's great so this is a tour I'm gonna pan now pan along my but, line of elephants but Naz has gone all out she has made some absolutely incredible pieces of art like we've got can, can we do like one at a time maybe like I think <laughs> we should introduce them one at a time Naz because right, okay, we have... they are worthy of it Adam yeah. Elephant, of course, Adam Ant. So he's a bit of a new romantic, that one. Can you see him okay? Yeah, yeah. that's a good one. Fantastic. And then next we have Ellie Phantom, Phantom of the Opera. I love he's him. Rose. And then we've got Telephant with the four more candles for the two Ronnies. And we have oh, the Camberwick Green musical box on his head. <laughs> <laughs> and Paddington, I can see Paddington there yeah, as well. Yeah, all the, all the fades there. 
And then we've got Zentangle Elephant. So this is a sort of black and white meditation. Um, do I love doodling me, bit of doodling. And then we've got all oh, these, the emotional elephants, because we've got, a, I am a positive and negative person. We've got your the balance, negative your balance. It's good. Um, keyword. <laughs> yeah, from all the, all the newspapers. Excellent. And then we've got the positive words. Oh, and oh, you've got the rainbow there. The we have the jungle book. Little baby elephant. <laughs> love it. And Barbar -Bar next to him. I can see Barbar. -Bar. I used to love that program when I was little. Have Bar -Bar. We've got travel fun. Oh, he's losing his. He's meant to have. He's got the um, Sydney Opera House hairstyle. There we go. I love that. Um, that. I mean. <laughs> It's probably not the best <laughs> picture, guys. But if you go onto the herd page, if you get a chance later, you'll see them all close up. Mm -hmm. Oh, and the Grace and Perry tribute. And the Grace and Perry font, of course. Fantastic. Yep. And then we've got Sir Patrick Moore font with his block and spiel and beaters. There we go. And his telescope. <laughs> And then we end up with the rainbow elephant, which is my latest creation. Twelve of them. Can you believe it? That is amazing. <laughs> so if at any point you run out of activities between tutorials, you are all invited to join our herd community as well. Definitely. Um, the possibilities are literally endless. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Naz. That was brilliant. You're welcome. <laughs> Love it. Okay. So, oh, yes, I forgot to say from the beginning, um, our group ethos is very much about encouraging people. So when people show things, it'd be great if you could write in the comments, any comments that you've got, um, all sort of cheerleading each other on. Um, I mean, some of this stuff is really impressive. Like, honestly, I was receiving um, the emails of the photos of the work that you guys have done, and I was like blown away. I was just like... You guys are better than me, but that's fine. That's totally fine. <laughs> um, so yeah, just enjoy it and really cheer each other on because this is this is meant to be fun. Okay, cool. Right. So next, I'm going to invite Pete and Nikki. If you'd like to, you'd join, like us. to join us. Hi. Hello, Hi. everyone. Hello. Can you tell Can us you a bit about your research? Yeah, because we um, we haven't got face paint but we have dressed for the occasion with special t-shirts. And uh, mine is an Australian t-shirt bought in Australia back in 2002. And ho I hope you can see that it's got um, one of those X-ray pictures of um, a kangaroo and various other bits of Aboriginal art on it. Fantastic. Fantastic. Like dedication. Like dedication. <laughs> <laughs> and mine's just got sort of lots of little lizards on it. Oh, brilliant. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> And did you and say you, you had a degree, degree too? No. I mean, I mean, a boomerang. 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 Yeah. Boomerang. Yeah. These can are you, ones you... which we bought in Australia. So the, the, these are bought with, with genuine uh, Aboriginal art on it. And you can see a lot of the features <laughs> we talked about in the um, video, introduction video. So you've got um, the meeting that. place and the little horseshoe shapes, which are the uh, people sat around the meeting place a water hole and this uh, boomerang's also got an x-ray picture of um a lizard or a, a, probably a guano a monitor lizard on it that is gorgeous. that is good yeah. mine's got a meeting place there and it's got it looks like a sort of river or something and some vegetation sort of going down there can you hold can it you hold it for me where are we? it's the camera's the camera over here there. yeah <laughs> there you go yeah brilliant. so you've got a meeting place and a sort of little river sort of just there and some vegetation so the, oh, those are ones that. we bought by by um uh, actual aboriginal artists so um i took the these pictures as an inspiration for my pebble diagram which i'll show you now yeah, yeah, go, for yeah it. go for it. <laughs> so this is a virtual meeting place. So right on the door, we've got these. So right that. That's a Wi-Fi signal. The yellow is the uh, icon of um, a Wi-Fi. So you've got a mixture of um, Aboriginal uh, symbols and icons and kind of modern technology symbols and icons so um, all the all the people representing by the represented by those horseshoe shapes uh um here it's a mirror image so i'm not sure i'm putting my <laughs> yeah, finger in the right yeah, place no, but yeah, no, th that's a person 
Uh, in front of them, they've got a laptop computer and they're connected by <laughs> Wi-Fi to a virtual meeting place. And uh, so that I've got a few, a few other things here. I've got um, a symbol for um, an aerial and an earth, which is um, the sort of thing you use in an electronics diagram. And that's connected by the wavy line, which is a radio wave to somebody else's radio. And that, 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 that wiggly loop is an optical fiber because a lot of the stuff goes by optical fiber. <laughs> so I've got all those things built into it. And um, as I'm quite keen on astronomy, I put in some astro astronomical stuff as well. So we've got the pole star um, up at, uh, where is it? There's a pole star and that's Ursa Minor in the Northern oh, hemisphere that you see from favorite. this country. And the other side you'll see, uh, where am I? The Southern Cross. So that's a Southern Cross. So a southern constellation you see from Australia. <laughs> so that that's my pebble. I feel like I that needs a prize. I don't have a prize available, but it's, but it's awesome. awesome. Thank you. Okay. And we've got and lots of people, people commenting, commenting saying that they love it. It's really cool. Thanks. Thank you, cheerleaders. Thank you, cheerleaders. <laughs> Nikki. Nikki. This one. I've got, um, so the meeting place is the sort of central bit there. I could only find a tiny pebble. Went for a lovely walk last weekend to find it. But oh, um, uh, we've got um, sort of some little sort of people sat around it. And I've got a blue sort of river in the bottom and then various vegetation. I've got some little trees. Which side's the trees? The trees are that side. <laughs> Oh, they're, oh beautiful. they're beautiful. And then um, basically I just sort of sat down. I didn't have a plan. So I sat down outside and I had the swifts flying overhead. So I've drawn some birds up in the sky and sort of just sort of Aww. the blue of the sky and sort of a bit of white hazy cloud and the birds flying around and just sort of little flowers with little yellow bits. I've got some purpley bits in there as well. Um so, yeah, basically, I didn't have a plan. I just sort of did it. And this one was even more random in that I just sort of had loads of leftover bits of paint. So I just dotted bits of paint all over the place for it. It's some kind of way, isn't it? Like, you just create something, create something randomly, randomly and, and all things happen. All things happen. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank oh, you, thank guys. You. Thank, you. thank you. I feel so free. Follow us, follow us, follow us, follow us, follow us, follow us. Not a competition. No, that is fantastic. And you may recognise Pete's voice because he was the voiceover for the elephant. He was telling us all about the Aboriginal art, which is amazing. Which is amazing. Thank you for that. Okay, you're welcome. Thank you. I often call Pete the fountain of knowledge. I, I I I use a lot of search engines and I think you made a reference. a reference to QI and uh, but I don't have a team of elves, so I've got to do all the research myself. So um, oh. it's uh, it's fun though; it's interesting. We're glad to have, we're you, glad on to have you on our team. <laughs> okay. okay. So we're gonna, so we're gonna mm, now, 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 bye for now. Bye for now. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be offended. We've just switched you off. <laughs> oh my goodness, they were amazing. And I, I actually saw the pictures of their artwork earlier, but I didn't clock the Wi-Fi signals. Like I just didn't. I don't know, I just thought they were cool patterns. So it's even better now that I know all the meanings behind it and everything. That is like combining like the old and the new. I, I love that. Absolutely brilliant. So now we've got some of the photos that people have been sending in. So um, can we start with Sally's? I've got so many brilliant emails. It's been great that you've all been getting so involved. Um, Tess, are you okay? I've just seen a message from you saying that you can't comment on YouTube for some reason. That might be something to do with the settings, but then I can read it on Facebook. So as long as I can read it, don't worry too much but thanks for letting us know that's great okay so and do we have some information about this one as well i think my my technical fairies are at work under pressure <laughs> so sally sent this in and from what i remember she was saying that um it's almost like a map it's that overview of the land so you've got the meeting place 
And she did give me a few more details actually in the email, but I don't have them to hand. I'm really sorry, Sally. <laughs> but you've done some fantastic work there. Um, and we've got a couple of pictures, I think. Here's another one. I think that was that a fish. I'm, I'm looking to my, my fairy assistants. <laughs> no pressure <laughs> but you could yeah I mean you can see there that that's that's brilliant that's a fish quite, almost like a fossilized fish sort of thing I think fantastic and we got some more Okay, no worries. Oh, okay. Thanks, Tess. Good. I'm glad you're with us. <laughs> and Tess's stones, we will have a look at in a little while as well. Um, but we nicked hers for the poster for the beginning because we thought they were really awesome too. So thank you, Tess. <laughs> so now we're going to have a look at Hev's um, stones. Now, Hev couldn't be with us on the live today, but she's been doing the tutorials, doing all the work, and she wanted to send us some of her pictures. So hopefully she'll get to catch up later. Um, and she managed to get her partner to go to the beach to collect stones especially for her just so she could do this. So I thought that was quite, quite cool. Team effort. <laughs> ah, here they are. And I really like these because they remind me a bit of like peacock eyes. Um, and I know Hev said that she didn't want to do too much on this one because she really liked the detail on the actual natural stone, which I totally get. There's some really cool patterns on there, actually. And so she's just highlighted certain areas. This one I think is amazing, like it's so symmetrical, like it's almost like she measured it out, if you know what I mean. Um, and she's followed the line of the stone really well, which I like. So that's cool, the, the fire stone, the meeting place. Is that one of them? I think. Might be another one. Can you go see all the pictures okay? With, do a thumbs up if you can. Lovely. Good. Thank you. Okay. So thank you, Hev, and I hope you get to see this on the, the catch up. Next, we have the lovely Tess. And Tess used to come to our Creative Change Workshop. So we've missed her so much and we're really glad that she can rejoin us online virtually. So we're going to get your work up next, hopefully. I feel like we need a drum roll or something. <laughs> or a countdown to build the anticipation. Da, 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 da. What a beautiful blank screen. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get there, we'll get there. Ah, here it is. I think um, Tess has done quite a few actually. Um, Tess, if there's anything that you want to say about them, you can type in on the Facebook Messenger so we can read them out as well. Oh, I'm glad you missed us too. And Caroline, I don't know if Caroline's on as well, but yeah, I miss her too. Oh, I love this one. Is this is this one a turtle? It definitely looks like an animal. But the colours are great because they really like reflect the sort of the land, don't they? That sort of orangey, browny earth kind of colours, which are great. Um and oh a snake I love that my snake looked hilarious I don't know if you guys got to see it but I did look at it at the end and I was just thinking it is what it is but I still like the pattern so we just rolled with it that's how we roll isn't it kintsugi philosophy which we will be learning about at some point in the next few weeks oh and we've got some new designs coming up so we've had the meeting place and um, can we go back one because I think I, I missed I love that one that actually reminds me of fried eggs, and I know it's not a fried eggs, but I love it. I think it's brilliant. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, and Tessa said she's been to Australia. Well, maybe that's why hers are so good, because she actually knows what she's <laughs> she's doing from an authentic, experiential point of view. Brilliant. I'd love to go to Australia. Oh, and it was a turtle. Fantastic. Oh, yeah, that's a good picture now with the blue background as well. They're amazing. Thanks, Tess. Oh, and I love that one too. 
just the colours are they just go really well, don't they? And the whole collection. This is the one I think we used for our poster because um, yeah, they just work really well together, don't they? Awesome. And I'm, I can't wait to see what you come up with next week, Tess. Brilliant work. Thank you. Okay, let's see who's next. Um, Mandy. So this is new Mandy. We have two Mandys in our group. One Mandy we shall call Dragonfly Mandy or Face Painter Mandy. And new Mandy. You're new Mandy until we come up with a better name for you, I'm afraid. <laughs> Feel free to decide on a better name for yourself. So can we get... Um, oh, sorry. They're coming. They're coming. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Tess. It is so lovely being able to connect with you guys and actually interact and sort of answer messages and stuff. So we've got our cheerleading squad back. Right, yes, new Mandy. All right, and I've, I've, my efficient fairy. Do you mind being called a fairy? I mean, like an angel, like a like a an awesome helper. Um. <laughs> Um, so Mandy says, um, the natural stone is meant to be two watering holes joined by a river. The bright blue one is a watering hole with people. Um, and the third one is an oyster shell on which I tried to represent a turtle. I found this really relaxing. Um, so yeah, that's great. And I absolutely love the color teal as well. And I think there was a teal one amongst these. Um, so automatically that was a winner for me because you got my favorite colors but yeah and that's beautiful isn't it i love i just love the way that you managed the action you almost got perfect circles because i found that really challenging actually i know i followed the line of an oval stone but it's actually quite difficult to make a perfect circle so you've done amazingly well at that that's brilliant so welcome and we're really glad that you've joined the group and fantastic that you've been able to share um yeah so any feedback would be greatly welcome and I think everybody is cheering you on as well we're seeing lots of likes coming up lovely work welcome <laughs> um fantastic okay so next we have Debbie Debbie sent some she did these with her children um and they started off going with the tutorial thing and then they got random inspiration, which I love and have gone slightly off, off piece, but come up with some fantastic pebble paintings. So we've got a pizza, which I love because it's just so random, but it's brilliant. We've got an ice cream one. I wonder if they were hungry when they were painting. Do you think maybe they started painting around like just before lunch? The fried egg, smiley face, love that. We've got a few fried eggs today, haven't we? Awesome. Um, so thank you. So that's Cody, Olivia and Debbie. Thank you so much for sending in your work. And we look forward to seeing what you get up to next week as well. I love that ladybird. That's so cool. Fabulous. Right. So, um, oh, and Katie's saying that she loves the turtle, Mandy. So thank you, cheerleaders. We love cheerleaders. <laughs> and, and people love the ladybird as well. So well done, Debbie. Good work. So now I'm going to introduce you to face paint Mandy. I'm going to have to call you some dragonfly Mandy. Amazing Mandy. <laughs> now you see. Now you see. Drag, drag, dragonfly Mandy is, is more appropriate, I think. So, can we see a close up of your lovely face paint, please? Because this, this is amazing. Oh, hang on. Oh, switching them around a bit. This paint. Here it is. And you, you love drawing birds, don't you? Mandy? I do. I do. I, I, lo I love my birds. <laughs> But she, she's such a talented painter. Well, she's talented at everything, to be honest with you. But she does these most intricate drawings of birds. And I really struggle to do face paint on myself, actually. Like, I can paint, you know, freehand. But when you're doing it on yourself, it's a lot harder than you think, isn't it? It certainly is. Yeah, it takes a bit of practice. But, hey, come week yeah. 12, I've nailed it. <laughs> exactly. I mean, 
week one <laughs> that will do <laughs> we'll just see how this goes um so mandy you were in today's video weren't you so you were leading the tutorial on dragonflies mm -hmm. so once we have spoken to you about decoupage, we're going to ask you a few questions on that. Okay. Um, but first of all, if we can get some pictures up of your decoupage work, that would be great. So Naz showed us last week how to do decoupage stones. Mandy is literally the queen of decoupage. Anything in her flat, everything, everything that everything that she owns is decoupage, basically, isn't it? So, it certainly is. <laughs> <laughs> so when we were at Key Place, we actually got Mandy to teach us some decoupage um, sessions. But I thought we had to do a bit of a shout out and show some of these amazing creations that you've got. So we've got the boxes there. And did you do some heads as well? Were they? I, yeah, um, I volunteer in a charity shop and we had these random heads donated <laughs> Um, to use as our display, so Not they had really no, no they humans. <laughs> they weren't real heads, were they, Mandy? They were pretend heads. No, no, I did look a bit suspicious. Fantastic! And should we see if we can get a picture up of them? Come on, it's coming. It's coming. We're just gonna have to have lots of drum roll noises for like little interludes, oh, no. aren't we? I think. Oh, oh, that's, no. oh, 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 this is miscellaneous decoupage stuff. <laughs> <laughs> here we are, here are the heads. But I can't wait till they're actually in the shop because it'd be really good to show everyone once they're in the display as well, isn't it? Absolutely, but, yeah, should create a bit of interest. <laughs> yeah, but to get so were they just like plain polystyrene heads to start with? Yeah, j j just polystyrene. Um, so I had to balance them up a little bit, put a bit of weight on the bottom. But do you know they've kept me such fab company during this lockdown? You know, oh, they really are really good conversationists. <laughs> do, 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 are they good? I bet they're good listeners. They are, but they do keep nicking my chocolate. I can't lie. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. I, that makes me think about Miranda Hart and her fruit people. I'm 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 so down for that. That's brilliant. <laughs> Excellent. So if we get the other pictures back up, if that's possible, then we can have a look at you've done some furniture as well, didn't you? I think I have, yeah. I've um something that I do like to so this this I got from the charity shop, believe it or not. I think I paid about three pounds for it. So um this is its set well, its third life. Um and that's a little jewellery box that I've created. That is gorgeous. And you, and you can see the lamp in the background. I've even done this one. Nothing is safe. Fantastic. <laughs> Fantastic. And um, so you did you use serviettes for those or did you use newspaper or like what, what I've, did you use? I've used, used serviettes. I mean, to be quite honest, you know, it's the same as you've done the stones. Um, just peel the top layer off tear it paint it just, just let your imagination go wild you know it's it really is you know it, it's instant results which is what I like because I've got not a lot of patience when it comes to long-term yeah. things but excellent well so if any of you guys need any tips on decoupage Mandy is your woman okay so <laughs> thank you very much and um I just wanted to kind of give an opportunity for people to ask questions to Mandy um, if they've already seen today's tutorial. Um, maybe has how many of you guys have actually had chance to watch it yet? Because some of you might not have. I don't know if you can maybe just write a note on the chat or something. Okay. Oh, there's a minute delay, so we do. We need we need musical interlude, don't we? Me I have. Too. I've actually asked um, Sally if she will do some recording of her playing the ukulele, um, which oh. I was just going to use for some of the like um, tutorial background music. But that would be quite cool. Now, actually, we'll just be like, just hang on a few minutes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, we heard behind me as well. I oh know. yeah, show us your head. Show us your head. <laughs> Uh, here we go. Um, it's one of my. Ooh, this one of my. Um, oh, you yes, are my 
That is brilliant. Practice, isn't it? And if you if you guys want to have like a proper look at like these, like we've got, I love if you've got a little bumblebee on it. Yeah, I made. Oh, I didn't notice those. I never knew yeah. noticed those in the others. I made them out of some beads and plastic. So um, yeah, there's there's pictures on the on the herd community doodle. Oh, fantastic. I think I just thought that they were like pictures, not three dimensional. If you know what I mean. Oh no, no. Fantastic. Fantastic. Brilliant. Cool. Next, next is the fashion fashion show of the herd. All right, oh, they're all gonna fall down now. Um, we've got this one is so me. It's oops a daisy. Oh, I one? love that. That's a good. Is that, that's the colour that you painted your front door, isn't it? It is. <laughs> yeah, I colored my front door this colour to match. Fabulous colour. Fabulous um, colour. Then we've got. This angel one because I do like my angels. Oh, but this I is angels and rainbows, and I've made some paper flowers to go on the top. Let's give her a spin. Oh, gorgeous! But do you see what I mean? Like from from just something like this to then suddenly something so ornate and amazing that you guys have just created is just it is awesome. Cool. I've so got a little cool. um, Kinsuki one here. This is oh, one of yeah. my ladies. Actually, um, we. We're going to be doing Kinsugi in a couple of weeks because I've swapped the program around a little bit. But cool. if you could, you could give us the little introduction, that would be quite yeah, good. He's got, wonky, he's got a wonky chunk because he's been. I think everybody has a little bit of a wonky bits, but he's been stuck <laughs> back together again. <laughs> oh, I love that. And we've got Dumbo here as well, which was the first one. He's rather large though. Oh, Dumbo is amazing. Because I, I, I was trying to work out how you did him with the milk bottle because it's, it's like the other hand. way around. Yeah. yeah. That is yeah. fantastic. Katie said, wow, Mandy, this group is so talented. Aww. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. What can we say? <laughs> but in all seriousness, we are. We've, everyone's got some fantastic skills and it's great for different people to chip in and share and stuff. So... Can we see some you know more? What, Hannah, I would say I think I think everybody is a little bit creative somewhere. Um, we all yeah. sit and say no, we're not, but e even finger paints are creative. So it's, just give it exactly. a go, isn't it? Exactly. And we've had many comments about if art goes wrong, we can just say it's conceptual, it's modern mm -hmm. art, and we just have a laugh about it. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, just takes a new direction. But I think just the whole process of creating is just just so good for us, isn't it? You know, so oh, um, absolutely, yes. You know, it's it's my go-to happy place. <laughs> absolutely, and um, Mandy is is pretty much the entertainer in the group. You're like a walking <laughs> comedy show, aren't you? Like oh, in yeah. the best in the best <laughs> way. Like life is never boring in our group when Mandy is there. So. You know, well, first impressions with the face paint should say it all anyway, to be fair, but <laughs> awesome. That's what Next. happiness does to you. <laughs> oh, and actually, could you tell the group about what you've been doing? Because you've been creating things and like hanging them around your community, haven't you? I have. Um, first, well, first couple of weeks of lockdown, you know, in that sort of like lull when nobody really knew what direction they were going to take. Um when everyone was going out for walks around where I live, um, we've got some lovely sort of like areas to walk, and I saw you know families out with the kids and things. So I made some um, feathers out of plastic bottles. I made some fairies out of pine cones. Perhaps next week I'll pop some pictures up so you can have a look. Yeah. Um, and it's been nice because on the local Facebook group, people have been finding them, and you know just little random things like that you know it does it does bring a smile to everybody so it all helps and you've been like hanging them in trees and stuff haven't you and oh, yes. some of them had messages didn't they what what kind of things did they say um just just keep smiling um and I left messages I I left it for people if they wanted to take take it they could if not they could put it somewhere else for someone else to find so yeah. um yeah I had a, a fair bit of feedback to that one <laughs> And it was amazing because someone in our group who didn't actually know that Mandy was doing this, actually, who loves photographing, came, ac came across them and photographed them and put them on her page. And we're like, oh, that was one of Mandy's as well. So <laughs> it's brilliant that, you know, this whole 
um, creativity and, and kindness being contagious. It's, oh, it's great. So great it's to have nice you on our team. Smile, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, more elephants, please. More elephants. Yeah. What do we have next? Um, we'll have oh, baby elephant. Oh, I, don't, I must get this. Oh, he's got a little nappy on and a little. Did he have a little yeah. nappy or a bottle or something? Yeah, he's got a little nappy and he's got a dummy in his in his mouth. I don't oh, know. Oh, can... that's so cute. Work that out. That is um, gorgeous. Who else have we got? Oh, we've got the music. This is one of the first ones that I've done. Um, because oh, yeah. We've got a rainbow coming out of his trunk. That's Wood. brilliant. Oh. Wait, wasn't that part of a pair? Were there two of them? Yes, yeah, so I've got... Um, oh, here we go. Oh, oh gosh, they're all toppling over. The elephants are really behaving badly. I don't mind telling you. <laughs> right, this one is actually decoupage. Oh, and it's got a bird on it, so it's your and signature it's style. Yes, so um, oh, beautiful. So yeah, I remember when you are endless. <laughs> when you had those first two, it was like they were a little married couple or something, wasn't it? They were yeah, just like they were having yeah. a little romance, which is quite. They need company. You can't have a single elephant, can you? No. <laughs> oh, wow, well, I don't know. We're all about empowering people these days. Oh, so yeah. <laughs> I'm rocking the single life right now. <laughs> right, next. Who is uh yeah. So next week's tutorial, who would like to be a guest is my question because I would really like to meet some of our people who haven't been a guest yet who would like to come on and introduce themselves. And I know that can be a little bit scary, but we're a really friendly group, aren't we? Hopefully, well, I know we might look a bit strange with our faces painted and stuff, but we're so supportive. So like, if you feel like being brave, we would really like to meet some new people. David's here, hi David. <laughs> We've been trying to get David on our online thing for ages. So welcome, we're glad you made it. <laughs> um, I'm just trying to see, how long have we been going? We've been going 42 minutes, David, so you've missed quite a bit, unfortunately. <laughs> but hopefully you can catch up. So <laughs> that's all good. It's all good. Um, and David, you have got an unlimited supply of, like, empty milk bottles, haven't you, that you have been – have you still got them or did you get – did you just get rid of them? Can you reply on the messenger? Basically, we've got a large supply of milk bottles that need making into elephants. So if anyone's up for that challenge, we can find a way. I d we need to get some more elephants, actually. There's, there's been We, we kind of go through phases where we have tons mm. and then we have like a little lull, don't we? But I, but, I feel a bit of a splurge coming on. I've just finished yeah. um, an online course that I was doing. So um, I've actually got naked milk, milk cartons hanging around. Ready I've, to be, I've um, got like a little naturist colony going mm. on here. Like we've got we've got a whole family just waiting to be decorated. <laughs> I, wow. I don't I don't actually know how many I've made, but it is ridiculous. Like it's it's I think I did twelve in the first two weeks of lockdown. <laughs> so, no, I am um, yeah. I live in a council place and I'm kind of worried if you know if there's ever a knock on the door. Because it says no pets allowed on my tenancy. <gasps> and mean, you've got a whole herd of elephants. I explain this herd of elephants. I mean, <laughs> oh my goodness. Evic can you imagine the eviction pay for? What if you have to go to court? <laughs> that would be brilliant. <laughs> 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 but yes we we have been given the opportunity to display our lovely herd at Ipswich Museum at some point in the future so if you would like to join our herd and contribute hopefully I, I mean at this rate we could probably fill the whole building and there wouldn't be room for anyone to actually come in and see it so <laughs> you know oh no <laughs> Dave David saved a hundred for us but we weren't able to go and get them because of the lockdown thing so obviously a hundred milk bottles you're gonna have to throw it away at some point aren't you so he's had to get rid of them I'm so sorry David this whole pandemic thing's a right pain isn't it but thank you for trying to collect them in the first place 
we appreciate the efforts that you went to and you can start collecting again now if you like and we will make use of them you can throw them at us from two meters away now so it's all good <laughs> in fact we want to empty <laughs> yes <laughs> ideally ideally definitely but we were talking about possibly having like a photo shoot for the herd like in the park, but because we've got so many of them, if they were all two meters away from each other, that would literally be like the whole circumference of the park, I think. Wow. But maybe we should just do it. Maybe we should just I see how it goes. I think, I think we should. I think, I think it would, um, yeah, hit the headlines. Let's do it. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, David, please start collecting for us. And if you get chance, have you seen the latest um, tutorial that Mandy did? Um, if you could try making something for next week, then maybe we could have you on as a guest because that would be really cool. Um, and we know a lot of these kind of like art and art for wellbeing things attract a lot more females, but we'd like to have representation from everyone really. So the more the merrier, um, get involved. So that would be great. And um, Hannah, I don't think it's online at the moment, but we know she's made some amazing things in her garden. And I think mm. she'd be fully up for doing the dragonflies. I think she would be loving that. So that would be, maybe that could be a team effort. I don't know, but that would be great. Cool. Right. Oh, Katie. Katie sent me an email earlier, which was very helpful. Um, because we've asked you in your shopping list today, to look at getting either modeling clay or Play-Doh or something like that for the jar aquariums. Um, she came up with um, a really good link, which is it in the message? It might be right at the very beginning of the message stream. So you might have to scroll back to get it, but um, we've popped it in the comments box. So it's a link to um, how to make Play-Doh, like um, using household stuff, really good, mm. quick, ingredients so if you haven't got icing or you haven't got air drying clay or anything like that hopefully you should have um the ingredients to make the play-doh and if not they're quite easy to get hold of so that would be great um can people see can people see that oh, yeah yeah so this is the link that she sent um and apparently it's a really easy version so we like we like that let's keep it simple Oh, it's been a while since I've done that play day. I love the smell of play day though, Absolutely, don't you? There's something yeah. about it. And actually, you can add things like essential oils to play day because I really love sensory yeah. things. And sometimes, like if you're feeling a bit stressed or whatever, just to have something to play with in your hands, like there's just yeah. something about it that can be really good. So, like maybe yeah, add some lavender to it or something. That'd be quite nice. I'd just add some glitter to it. Why not? Hey. Yes, we love glitter, don't we? You, I don't know if you can see the reflection of my face as I move, but I've, I've sort of got this, sheen, this little streak going across my face yeah. at the moment. I'm glittery so. too. Glitter's <laughs> everywhere, all over the place. Oh, close up, close up. <laughs> it was a bit of a nightmare with my hair, though. I was just like, I had to like hold it all out the way until it was all dry. Yeah. I've, I've refrained mine. I've, I've held it back. <laughs> like you, your hair is always amazing there isn't it like you need to do different hairstyle of the week as well let's let's mix it up oh yes yeah, yeah. it'll be great and Tess says hello I think she's probably saying hello to David or Carol maybe Carol's going to have a go at making an elephant which would be great yeah. that would be fantastic and oh yes the technical fairies can send what can take a they can take, take a whole little family home if you like. Oh. <laughs> um, and I think someone at Makerspace was saying that they actually want to make a robot one. So this this could be amazing, couldn't it? But let's try and focus on the dragonflies for now. Um <laughs> we haven't had any questions, so I'm thinking that you've just explained it too well and no one <laughs> needs any more information. <laughs> So, so that's a good thing. In case you want a quick reminder. Oops. That was great. There oh, we go. So I mean, what surprised me is you, you'd think it'd be sharp, but it's it's not. It's just like it's like foil paper, the actual right side of the can. Um, so you know, someone's be careful when you're cutting the top and bottom off. 
Part of me really wants someone to make one with big teeth, though, after hearing (laughs) Pete's, like, little QI session on how they, like, got sharp teeth. I've just yeah. in my head now. I'm seeing them totally differently. It's sort of ruined them for me. A bit. I, I'm visualizing a vampire dragonfly. <laughs> yes. Oh, that would be so good. Hiya. We've got some more people joining the live. Welcome. Oh, wow. Um. Somebody has asked. <laughs> Tess has asked, "Can we paint dragonflies instead of mobiles?" Of course you can. We are absolutely free for people. You know, like we had the pizza stones. It's just about have an idea and go with whatever inspiration comes. But I would like to put in a request that someone could make me a vampire one just for my own amusement, really, like a cartoon vampire <laughs> dragonfly for fun and no other reason, really. What were they called again? Pete probably knows. Author, was it or John, John Tur or something? Mm. But yeah, I'm learning quite a lot from the QI actually. Like, in yeah, it's good, isn't it? Love it. It's free. We're educational as well. Every Friday night's a school night. I mean, school day night. Yeah. <laughs> no, you know what I mean. <laughs> I don't even know what day it is half the time at the moment. So yeah, birthday. <laughs> I, I call it Friday. Friday, yeah. yes, a hundred percent. Brilliant. So I think we're coming to an end now, actually. But has anyone got any questions that they want to ask me about anything? Two minutes. So we've got a delay. Does anyone want to sing a song for us whilst we're waiting for the messages to come? <laughs> But we're up for like conceptual dance performances. If any of the live guests fancy that, I know Pete is dying to do a bit of conceptual dance. I can, I can see him. He's just desperate. <laughs> Get to weekend, and I think people start getting brave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. We're all getting to know each other at the moment, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. That's true. We're all a bit, all a bit shy. Oh, Just okay. It'll nearly, it'll nearly be Christmas by the time we get to week 12. Don't say that. Don't say yeah. that. <laughs> um, Katie said that the video is from the US, so um, and she's just put about the diff- the conversion of the um, the different measurements. Cool. So that's quite handy to know. Yeah, because a lot of a lot of recipes have got cups now. I've, I've actually ordered one of those little sets with the one cup thing because I mm-hmm. stupidly actually was using like our mug cups now can you imagine how badly that went when I was baking using an entire British mug as a cup don't do that let learn learn from me do it properly (laughs) okay um Tess has asked can we ask oh can we explain the fish workshop more so um have have we got any pictures fairies that we might be able to show of of the aquarium jars. Aquarium jars are awesome. And we had Tracy. Is Tracy's not online at the moment, I don't think. But no. Tracy was a member of our Creative Change workshop um, originally, and she made the most amazing birthday cake for my daughter. Um, honestly, it was like I sent her pictures of my daughter's toys literally like her favorite toys and she made this incredible cake with like a picnic but with all of Sophie's actual little toys on and stuff it was so cool it was fab wasn't it yeah so yeah so she is teaching us in next week tutorial how to make little um like fishes and things to go in like a jar aquarium it's, it's kind of difficult to explain without a picture. But if we can find a picture, you'd be like, oh, now I understand what they're trying to do. Okay, we haven't got any stills at the moment. But um, after the live is finished, um, we'll try and get a picture posted in so you'll know what's coming anyway. Um, David has said, how are the dragonflies made? Mandy, you've just done an entire tutorial today on that. Would you like to answer I that question? <laughs> homework, David. What? watch the video <laughs> yes we will send you another link to the video david and then if you have any questions then you can then you can get in touch <laughs> but the um, yeah the whole tutorial came out at 1 30 today and is on our youtube channel so if you get a chance to watch it mandy goes through step by step but if you do have any like technical questions after you've watched it then obviously 
get in touch. But they do look really cool. And it's using old cans, like old drinks cans and stuff. So I could make one out of this afterwards. Absolutely. Yeah. Other brands are available. Absolutely. <laughs> I hope that's not a copyright infringement or something. <laughs> well, I, I did cover mine up in the in the tutorial. I, I, I did see that. I, yeah. I thought they were very well labelled. Yeah, brain juice. <laughs> yeah, excellent work. <laughs> Fab. Any more questions from anyone? I hope you've enjoyed this. I know this may not be what you were expecting. I think <laughs> some people may have thought that this is going to be a very calm serious discussion and well what can I you say know, I, I think Hannah we've been superbly behaved to be quite honest <laughs> this is also not good behavior actually this is yeah, yeah absolutely yeah. but we do have a lot of fun and we really hope that you have a lot of fun too and, and get involved and enjoy it so we're, we're a nice bunch really aren't we we're all a bit quirky yeah. Yeah, we're, we're all right. We're all right, aren't we? Yeah. 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 Life's it's never been the problem. <laughs> <laughs> we, we have, yeah. But I think, I don't know about you guys, but I get so much out of this group. Like, I mean, I initially started volunteering um, at Key Place literally a year ago and um, just thinking oh that would be you know good experience for me but we've become a little creative family haven't we and it's really yeah. taken on like an identity of its own and it's evolving and um, we're really pleased to have more people joining us so the, the things that we've done as well have been um yeah groundbreaking we've um attended protests we've created edible nativities haven't we you know it's yeah that was so yeah. funny we had Satsuma baby Jesus, didn't we? It was fantastic. <laughs> We've certainly raised the bar. What are we going to do this year, honestly? Well, I think actually maybe we should recreate it and ask the Tate Modern if they're interested because I doubt they've ever had anything quite like no. what we produced. You know, the snowman in the background, the reindeer. It was great. The, the vegetarian great. sausage roll pig. I mean, yes, the vegan <laughs> sausage roll pigs were amazing. Absolutely brilliant. I can't believe we've been going a whole hour. Oh, my goodness. Okay, well, I better be quiet soon. But hopefully you've all had a good time. I know I have. Um, thank you to all my lovely guests. Put it. Um, okay, yeah. We're going to bring back the others so you can all wave to everybody goodbye. Okay, so all, all my VIP guests, yes, thank you. Thank you. You know, wave you know, goodbye. Wave goodbye. Bye. 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 Bye.